Hey everybody, Paul Turner here from the discipleproject.net here with another great idea uh, for a way to empower and affirm your students. And I know that everybody wants to do that. You want to do that. I want to do that. So before we get rolling today, quick announcement. I'm going to be at the National Youth Workers Conference in Memphis in uh, just a day here. And so if you're planning on going to the National Youth Workers Conference put on by Youth Specialties, uh, let me know in the comments below. would love to connect with you guys and uh, grab a cup of coffee or just say hi and chat in person and uh, all that kind of good stuff. So I hope that you'll uh, take a moment to uh, comment below that if you are going, super fantastic. If you've never been before, it is a great, great uh, uh, conference. Lots of great stuff going on there. I'll leave my schedule down there as well. Uh, that way you'll know where I'm at and if you want to come by and say hello. So, all right, well, that's enough of that. Let's jump into it. Several years ago, uh, what I did with uh, one of my youth ministries called One Student Ministries, I made what was called the One Man. And I had a great uh, guy in my church who could do woodwork and he would carve me out. I would find a pattern of like a little one guy statue uh, of a guy standing there and he carved it out of wood, put it on a, on a base and it looked fantastic. And so we would do the One Awards where students would get awards for um, you know, stepping up or for, uh, uh, you know, helping out or various tasks, various things. Some would get uh, really just, uh, you know, uh, things for leadership and things like that. And so it became a really cool uh, annual thing that we did. And so uh, this here is our one man for this youth ministry. And uh, this stands for LIFT love and lead. And so students in the youth ministry can nominate each other uh, to get this award. And so if you want to nominate somebody, you can simply say, listen, this person really encouraged me. This person uh, really showed a lot of love when they did this. Um, <clears throat> this person uh, really showed some leadership uh, in this activity or this event or in their character or whatever it may be. And, um, and so they're able to nominate each other. And if what I do for this is to us to not where a person gets 10 of these awards and you can do it if you want to do it that way. But what I do is I accumulate all the things. And if so, if some people get nominated several times, I will accumulate all those, <clears throat> excuse me, nominations, and then I will read all of them and give them one award. So that's the uh, cheapy way to do it, right? <laughs> if I, if you have a large youth group, this could be kind of expensive and there'd be 20 awards some kid would get. Um, but this is not super expensive, by the way. Uh, these you can get from your, your hobby stores. Uh, these are only about $2, $3. I think they're $3. Uh, the base here is a dollar. Uh, then you have glue and then you have spray paint. And uh, each one, uh, like I said, costs about maybe four bucks, uh, five bucks if you want to include the uh, the uh, spray paint and all that kind of good stuff. And then on the bottom, I just put our ministry name there and the way they have this. And I have students who have still have the one award uh, from several years ago. They keep it around and, uh, and just leave it around as a reminder of their days. All right. And that's it for today, guys. Appreciate you guys hanging around. If you're a brand spanking new viewer, thank you so much for checking out this channel. I hope that you'll click on my head here somewhere and subscribe to this channel so you can get more ideas for your youth ministry. And don't forget to click the little bell right there and make sure you get notifications. Uh, that way you'll know when I upload a video and you'll uh, be in the loop then. If you're a regular. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys hanging out and being a part of what we're doing here. We're building a great community of folks here. Uh, leave me a comment down below. How do you affirm your kids? Do you do awards every year? Do you do a dinner? Do you do What do you do to affirm your students in your youth ministry? So until the next video, guys, have a great time and I'll talk to you later. Bye.